Hi, and welcome to Larry's First Beer, First Impressions Beer Reviews. Today we give a nod to a local brewery right here in Grand Haven, Michigan called Gin, Sip It On Gin Barrel Juice. So Gin Barrel Juice is from Grand Armory um, Brewing Company in Grand Haven, Michigan. This is a barrel aged double IPA. And so, um, it's not your typical barrel aged stuff. This is aged in gin barrels. So, I think the name plays off a little bit of um, gin and juice. And the label is kind of playing maybe a Snoop Dogg theme. So, in the background, I've got gin and juice playing. <laughs> so, I'm having kind of fun with this one. Um, never ever have I had gin. I hear it tastes like pine trees. Um, so what is gin? Gin is basically vodka that has got juniper bean or juniper uh, cones um, that gives it a piney flavor. So some of the worst um, reviews that I have heard of is that it, gin tastes like a pine tree. Hopefully this doesn't taste like a pine tree, but hopefully the, the gin barrel complements the bitterness from the IPA. So, um, again, let's look at the label. He's got the little dog with the chalice with blood, with oranges in there. And um, so, in the back side, it says that it is a gin barrel aged blood orange IPA. So, let's crack this bad boy and see whether or not it has any particular first impression aromas and this is a pour in a glass see what it looks like and finally let's taste it and see whether or not gin barrels complement uh, IPAs. So without further ado let's crack it. I get I get orange juice and IPA. First impressions right off the top. Okay, so let's give it a pour. And it's got a golden. Oh, yeah, that's definitely got a golden orange kind of head on it. And that looks and smells like orange juice. Just before you put a nose on it. Yeah, yeah, it's more orange than it is anything else. I'm not getting anything that would say, oh, this has got um, gin in it. So, let me uh, stop this video here, man. Sorry about that, it's just, it's just distracting me. Um, Got a nice head on it. It's sticking around quite a bit. Uh, soft, fluffy bubbles. Not too many bubbles coming up in the glass, but the color definitely looks kind of orangish. So maybe that's the blood orange. And the, the orange flavor is, uh, okay. Um, so here's keeping your money on your, your mind on your money, your money on your mind. I know I messed that up. Here's two, keeping your mind on your money and your money on your mind. Wow. There's like waves of citrus, definitely blood orange, and then a nice piney aftertaste that kind of lingers that's definitely got to be the gin barrel I wouldn't say it's boozy I'm pleasantly surprised I 
was expecting not to quite like it as much as that I can do on my first couple of uh, sips, but not having any kind of history with gin. I don't know whether or not this makes me want to try gin, but it definitely, I would say it definitely is something that I would say if you like gin, you should try. So, uh, hey, Grand Armory, um, way to think outside the box. We've had a little bit of discussions with my beer friends about barrel age stuff and, um, you know, what is the sequences of um, ingredients in these barrels. But uh, <clears throat> gin barrels straight to an IPA, um, especially with the blood orange, um, it's very unique. And if you like gin, I suggest that you try this um, at 10%. Um, it probably won't disappoint. So uh, here's the Grand, Grand Army Brewing in Grand Haven, Michigan, my hometown. And here's to keeping your mind on your money and your money on your mind. Cheers. Sipping on gin barrel juice.